Paul Ray, Chief Designer for Bronco, and I'm here today in the wild to have a little bit of fun. Bronco, the US icon, is coming to Europe, and to make Bronco feel a little bit more welcome, we brought a bit of the US to Europe. We've got Death Valley, Big Bend, Everglades. Now, the driving we're going to be doing is pretty extreme, so to help me out with that, we've got another Paul. Hi, Paul. How are you? Oh, very well, thank you. Really looking forward to this. Let's do it. What an entrance. I'm a bit daunted by this. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Don't you worry, it's going to be Can we get out and fun. have a look? Let's have a look. It does look pretty serious. <laughs> it does look pretty serious. That's very extreme, isn't it? It's extreme, but, but this truck's going to do it. It's built wild. Don't worry. Look at the front of the truck. There's a lot of air in front of the tyres. When we roll forwards, that's the first part that's going to contact the... Uh, the teeth. We've got underbody shielding, we've got steel skid plates and steel rock rails. So yeah. we should be should be okay. So she's good to go. Let's give it a go. Okay. So what would you suggest for this then, Paul? Obviously this is massively extreme. Four-wheel drive, low range. Let's go for the goat mode uh, for rocks. Okay, rock, rock crawl. crawl. Yeah, perfect. perfect. That's gonna lock the diff and it's also gonna disconnect the sway bar, and that's going to give us much more articulation on the uh, across the front axle. That will give us more traction, more contact with the terrain. Like which a goat. Is pretty extreme, like a goat. <laughs> Goes over any terrain. OK. I trust you. It's going to be fine. It's designed for this stuff. That does look really intimidating, actually. It's going to be fine. That's the rock slider. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> Skid plate. <laughs> this is extreme. It's doing it. Wow. Like a goat. What are you doing? I might try and get a blackberry. <laughs> a blackberry? This is extreme fruit picking. Are we clear? Are we? Yeah. Well done. <laughs> it went really well. I think I might need a break before the next one. <laughs> Big Ben done. <laughs> So tell me about this next challenge then, Paul. I'm intrigued. I reckon we need the Baja mode for this one. This is going to be quick. What's Baja? Baja. Baja is a reference to the Baja 1000. The Bronco won the Baja 1069. So we've got a Baja mode, and it's going to set us up for sand and speed on this next section, El Camino del Diablo. Like the desert. Like the desert, where it's hot. <sighs> it's pretty hot here now, isn't it? I think I'm going to have to take my jacket off. Well, you can take your jacket off, but we also can take the roof off. The roof? Ten... And we'll take the doors off. We're going to go really extreme. We're going to strip this vehicle right back. It's going to be wild. <laughs> First is the driver, so open the door. OK. Can you do that one over there as well? This Rotate one? That. Yeah. That's fairly straightforward. Wow. It goes. A like an F1 team. Ah, oh, I see. Got it. Love it. There's a built-in handhold here, says yeah. lift, and after that, we just lift. Yeah, that's just great. Wow. Let's roll it onto its nose. Done. Oh, it looks completely different. <laughs> it does look completely different. The roof's gone, the doors have gone. A couple of big features. Doors can go in the trunk. No other vehicle can do that at all. And second of all, 
The mirrors are on the vehicle still. And there are a few Easter eggs down there as well. <laughs> Challenge is all about speed and sand. It's called El Camino del Diablo. And I think we should do it and go fast. OK, let's do it. Right. Baja. Baja mode. Three, two, one. I didn't get to say one. All done. So I'm going to tell you all about the truck. We've got those trail sites at the front. They're showing you where to go, where the corners are. If you look behind you, you can see that where we've been because of the mirrors are on. Woo! Grab it! <laughs> and as we plunge down here, if you need to, you can change the drive settings because the hero switches are just a hand span away from the wheel. This upright windshield gives you loads of visibility, fantastic field of view. And these grab handles for me right now, they're quite useful. They're holding me down and in. It's a new kind of sports car. Beyond the sea, reggae music to the cattle as he swings. Back and forth in the saddle on a horse. What's in here then? This is the next challenge. This is the Ozarks. A lot of wood, <laughs> a lot of wood in the Ozarks. Uh, oh. This challenge looks easy. It isn't. So you might need to change the drive modes. OK, what do you suggest? Now, how about for low? And in terms of the goat settings, how about crawl? OK. All right. Stay bar disconnected. Let's do it. It looks easy. It isn't. <laughs> they say it isn't. They say it's difficult. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> Bronco's making it look easy. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. What's the next challenge? Paul? I hope it's harder than this. Bring it on. I think uh, the only way to cap this off is Death Valley. Death Valley, here we come. Right then, next challenge, they call it Death Valley. Why do they call it Death Valley? Because it's like driving over a cliff. I can't even see the bottom. <laughs> this is quite intimidating. This is quite intimidating. Uh, hill descent mode on? Yes. Low? Yes. Well, it's going to be OK. Right, OK, hold on. Wish me luck. Oh, oh I don't like heights. It's pretty awesome. Wow. Oh. I've got the seatbelt, but I've got the grab handles to hold me in position. Oh. It's all under control. And there we are. I think my ears popped. <laughs> that is so cool. Love it. It's nothing, nothing really phases this thing, including a climb like this. Loose, baby head rocks everywhere, and it just goes straight up. Scrabbling for grip. <laughs> Easy. Oh, 
Well, I've had a great day, Paul. Thanks. Oh, it's been fantastic, but it's not quite done yet. We have one last challenge that we've got to accomplish, and, uh, and it's just here, the Everglades. Wow. Have you ever been swimming in the Everglades? No. Yeah, don't. It's a terrible idea. For this challenge, you know what? I think I'm going to drive. Yeah? OK. Let's have a look. Wow. How deep is it? Uh, deep enough. <laughs> but, uh, and deep enough for us to want to put the doors back on again. 100% yes. I don't want to get my feet wet. No. Making a bow wave. I wish I brought my fishing rod. <laughs> well done. That's fantastic. We got it nice and clean now. Let's just go and get it dirty. <laughs> Well, that was a great day in the office. I really enjoyed that. And this is how I like a Bronco to look at the end of a day. Filthy and well used. Now, my adventures are over. It's up to you now to have your own. Thank you.